Hi my dudes! Welcome back! I know it's been a long time since I've used my voice. It's making a comeback just for this video because I find it easier to use it as it is. But yes, what we'll be doing today is um, a different kind of video that I've never done and I don't know how you will respond to it, but let's just hope that the response is good. So I like to do the designs of my desktop desktops, like the background of my computer. I like to do them. So I just thought that maybe you guys wanted to see how I did them. Maybe not, but like I'm doing it anyways. And yes, it's a pretty easy procedure. Um, I don't do anything special and everything I use is free so everyone can do it. But we're basically using three uh, websites. Okay, the first one is Pinterest and you'll need Pinterest to find all the pictures you want to use. Then you need Canvas to make, I believe it's Canva. I don't know how to pronounce it, okay? So we're just moving on. Well, you need that one to make like the structure of the background as it is. And then be funky to add fonts and the filters that you want to add or textures or everything like that, that you can do it at Be Funky. In this video, I'll be doing three desktops, desktops, I don't know how to pronounce that word, but I'll be doing three. All of them are for 17. I'll be doing one for each team. Like, you know, there's the performance, hip hop and vocal team. So I'll be doing uh, one for each and I'll leave them like for you to use them if you want to i don't know how i'll do it i don't know if i have to post the picture or what but you'll have a link in the description once i figure out how you can use the wallpapers but yes and i'll be also showing you the one i have already in my computer which is not from 17 but like it has my big crushes of korea so yes what you will be doing first is going into Pinterest and choosing the pictures you want to use. I usually like to go for like a boyfriend aesthetic, like not very professional looking photos, just photos that look like you could have taken them. And that's what I did for 17. I chose three pictures of 17 as it is, and then a picture of each member and all with the same kind of style, like boyfriend aesthetics. And yes, once I chose the pictures, I just, well, downloaded them and then went to Canva. And in there, you have an option of desktop, like the size. Sorry if I mispronounced that word, okay? I'm really trying here. But you just go to Canva and choose the size that's in there. So then you, as you can see, there's a, like a bar with a lot of choices like templates, photos, elements, etc. So there you pick the one that says uploads and upload all the pictures that you will use. And then what I am doing is just adding them up to the canvas on the right side. And there you can see that I'm trying to modify the sizes and adjusting them to my preference. Then I just went to elements and added a square because I'll make the pictures look like Polaroids. That's just the aesthetic I'm going for, for the three desktops. So, yeah. I chose the background and went to the background tab right there between text and uploads and there's a bunch of free backgrounds for you to choose from but if you're not feeling anything then you can easily upload one from Pinterest or Google or Tumblr or whatever but like there's a lot of choices girl I'm sure you'll like one once you're done with all the background shenanigans things you just download the picture on the best quality you can and then we'll move on to the next team.
are going to be funky to add the filters and fonts of your liking. For each desktop, I am adding the name of the team and the team members. That's why I made some of them look like Polaroids so there will be space. And as in Canva, at the left side, you have all of the choices uh, to add fonts, textures, filters, overlays, and so on. So, like, use whatever you're feeling and just make the desktop look even prettier. Once you're done with the fonts and before you add the filters, just make sure you flatten all the layers and make them one so the filters apply equally to the whole canvas. And press that little button that I'm pressing right now. So next, I like to play around with the exposure and also uh, color mixer, beautify, sharpen tool, the color tool, and just the ones that I'll be using in the video. Those are my usually go-to. Moving on into the textures, I usually like to use the scratches, grunge, and paper one because they make the wallpaper even more vintage. So what I did for this one, that's basically what I did for everything. And I'm about to make a huge mistake on the hip hop team. I wrote, I mean rap team instead of hip hop team. But just forgive me, I'm a human and I corrected that mistake in the video. So don't worry, it's right now, it's correct now. So just have patience. So now I'm just showing off how they look. I hope you like the video. Please make sure to give it a like because I really tried. And if you want more videos like this, just comment it down below. And if this video was useful for you, please give it a like. And remember the most important thing.
Thank <laughs> you.